Hey Run Junkies, I have another training update for you today, but first I want to thank all of you for all of your encouragement and support through last weekend's post-race reaction. It was definitely a tough one and I have a few final thoughts on it, but you guys were amazing and all of that encouragement and support helped me just kind of process all of it down and put everything in perspective and it really got me ready for the next phase of my training. So thank you guys so much. I just love you all. I love this tribe. And I did email Coach Christine with my race recap and it's one of those long emotional blow by blow type of messages. And I did, I cried through half of writing that email and her reaction was just really sweet. And she felt terrible for me. She did point out a few things about the race, the conditions, and really how we prepared for this race. Just a few things that we didn't think about. And the first and most significant, I think, is the fact that we did not set a B goal. And this is something that I always do going into a race. I have not just one goal. I have a few kind of lined up in order of priority. And Coach Christine encourages her clients to do the same thing. Neither of us thought about it. It completely slipped our minds. Now, here's what I mean by having the B goal. Your A goal is that ideal. This is really what you hope to get out of this. But a B goal is something that we're still happy with even if we miss the A goal. So if I didn't hit that PR, I would have had a secondary goal. I didn't have that safety net. So when I missed the A goal, when I knew around mile 10 that I was not gonna PR, that this was not going to be a good showing for me, I didn't have something to fall back on and keep fighting during this race. If we set a B goal and we know it going in, we don't have to go through those mental gymnastics when we're exhausted. So the lesson I learned, the takeaway from all of this is that having a B goal will help you in case things don't go the way you hoped they do. If the conditions are bad, if you're not feeling up for it, if something just goes wrong, you have something to fall back on. Some of my bigger races, I've had three goals to just finish in a certain time. Okay, if I can't hit that time, then I wanna finish in this time. And then if I can't hit that time, then I will finish, period. Had I had that B goal, I may have altered my emotional state at the finish line and I probably would have felt a lot differently about it, maybe a lot better. In this case, I don't know exactly what my B goal would have been. I may have done a little bit of research to see if I could you know, fight for a stronger proof of time for superheroes. I already have a decent proof of time from Boulder Boulder, but if I had fought a little bit harder, maybe shaved a few seconds off per mile, I may have actually come in with a better proof of time for superheroes. Christine said that I did everything right with my training, pre-race warm-up, and even during the race, she said I was hitting my paces, that everything was lining up for a really good race. We just weren't prepared for the terrain and we weren't prepared for the humidity and a few other things. So all of these things factored into the conditions of the day. And these are the things that we need to kind of take away from a race when things don't always go our way, when we miss that A goal, that it's not necessarily us. It might be the conditions that affect us. Christine also reminded me that my expectations of myself were not too high. This is a fear that I've had this past week. Have I just been expecting too much of myself? And she assured me, no, I am training well, I am working hard, and I am really nailing every single run. So now it's time to move on to the next phase of my training. Before I move on to the next thing I wanna talk about, I wanna remind you, if you are doing the Run Disney Superheroes race in November, proof of time is due on August 1st, which is just a couple of days from when this video goes up. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure you get that proof of time in. I mean, I'm thinking I better make sure that I have mine too. So what is next for me? A lot of you are already training for the Dopey Challenge, which is fantastic. I'm technically not doing that yet. I'm still working on speed. So the next race for me is also for Dopey Proof of Time, which is September 9th, Saturday, September 9th. It's the Arvada Harvest Races. Training wise, that gives me about six weeks of recovery and ramp up again to hit a good proof of time for that race. As for training this week, as you can imagine, I spent a lot of time processing the race from last weekend, the Prairie Dog Half, and I'm 
really just recovering. And I always look forward to the next run after a race until I actually do it. And it was just an easy three miles, but oh man, every minute of it hurt. I'm really looking at cross training as a method of just keeping that conditioning and strength up. We also went to Waterworld this week, which is our local water park here in the area. And it's a great time, but the problem is, is that it's built on a super tall hill. We've gone so many times that when I think about going to Waterworld, all I think of is the hills. It's a workout in and of itself. I was thinking, okay, yay, we're going to Waterworld. I think I wanna cry. Now a quick announcement for what's coming up or a reminder if you've been tuning in for the last uh, couple of weeks. I'm participating in Vlog Every Day in August, bringing you lots of great new stuff every day. So please subscribe. I will be kicking off VEDA with a live broadcast on Tuesday at noon mountain time. That is August 1st. On Tuesday, I'm going to give you a little bit of what to expect from vlogging every day in August. And I also have another big announcement. So stay tuned for that. And I will be doing a live Q and A. So if you have questions for me, please look drop them in the comment section down below. Lastly, don't forget, I am giving away an extra June Runner's World subscription box. There was just a clerical error over at Runner's World and they sent some of us an extra box. So they said, hey, do with it what you will and I'm just giving it away. So what you wanna do is head over to my Instagram feed at hlmusic73 and you're gonna look for a photo that looks like this please comment in that feed and you will be entered to win this box. Entries will be received until Monday, July 31st at 5 p.m. Mountain. And I will also announce the winner during the live uh, Tuesday video. So what I wanna know from you guys is, how is your training going? I know a lot of you are training for Dopey, maybe superheroes, maybe Disneyland half. You know, let me know how your training is going in the comment section down below. If you have questions, comments, or anything else, also drop those in the comment section. That's everything I've got for you today. So thank you so much for your continued support. I just love this community and I love having conversations with you and engaging with you. As always guys, if you like this video, give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Get out there, go find your awesome. Until next time, happy running.